All right. We're back on the live show on geekazine.com and the user here um which is uh John, he's asking I'd like to be able to um I'd like to be able to d- to back up my system uh as it is with all the programs that I have installed on my XP system. I know that there's a way to do it in my corporate world. They do that all the time. How do I do that on my personal machine? Well, you know, John, there are two programs out there that you could get. One is by Semantic and one is by Acronis. And there's a lot of other programs, but these are the two main ones that I've ever used. Um, in a corporate world, they use what's called Ghost. Now, what this program is is is, uh, is straight up. It takes your the partitions or the hard drive, and it makes a complete copy of it and puts it. And you can put it on a server. You can put it on a disk. Uh, not as much of a disk anymore, simply because of the fact that the size of some of these files are getting way too big for disks. But uh, you can put it on a server. And uh, the best part about Ghost is is you get into the file ma- manager. You can actually pull up files from that ghosted copy to see versions and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, Ghost is is what is mostly used in the corporate world. There is also another program out there uh, from Acronis or Acronis. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce the company name. I say Acronis. Um, but it so people say it differently. So, but basically, there's there's a and there are commercial copies of Acronis out there that that basically back up a partition or a hard drive. Out of the two, I like Acronis better because you can make a disk, and that disk, what you would then do is you would turn on your PC, you put the disk in, and you let the disk load up first before Windows XP loads up. Then you go and, and, and you pull the partitions off and, and, and save it there. The reason why I like Acronis is because of the fact the only problem I've ever run in with Acronis is the fact that the USB needed to be in the absolute first slot of the USB port on some of these co- computers. Now you get like four in the back, two in the front, and you don't know which one's the, the first one. You just have to unplug it in one, plug it in the next, turn it back on. And then you get a you get an idea, but once you get over over that problem where the key well, basically the keyboard or mouse wouldn't work, but once you get over that, you got this graphical user interface that says, "Hey, I want to back this up. Hey, I want to bring it over." Now, what you need when you go to back up your hard drive is you need another partition or another hard drive that can receive the data, whether it be on a network drive or whether it be on a on a USB drive or, or something like that. Now, the, the larger the partition, the larger the disk, the longer it's going to take to actually back it up. But they have compression tools in there. And, of course, if you turn on compression, that's going to take that's going to make it a little bit longer, too. However, you get that backup. Then if you have a problem, all you have to do is go to that backup and restore the image. You might lose a little bit of data off the, off the deal, but, you know, if you, if you get a virus or, or if your system goes down, and that's really the only way to 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 go. Just this last weekend, I actually backed up a system that I was working on. We recreated the uh, XP image. We set it all up. We got everything working, and then I went and I pulled out the Acronis, and I put that disk in, and I backed up the whole system that way. So, two programs. One's called Ghost, and one's called Acronis. Uh, well, one's from Semantic, and one is from Acronis. And the Acronis backup you should be able to find at any uh, Best Buy or, or I was going to say CompUSA, but they don't exist anymore. <laughs> so if you have any questions, of course, geekazine at gmail.com, 608-205-4378. Feel free to call and leave a message, and uh, I'll answer your questions. And thanks to John for this email, and we'll get to more in a minute. <laughs> 